here to answer questions in honor of Ed Henry uh, as he wraps up his. Yeah, I told him I couldn't be prouder. Uh, you know, one of the a, a extraordinary uh, measures of progress that we've seen in this country uh, has been uh, the recognition that uh, the LGBT community deserves uh, full equality, not just partial equality. Every single day, uh, we are constantly trying to hit our marks. An individual who, who's excelled at the highest levels in one of the major sports to go ahead and say, this is who I am. I'm proud of it. Uh, I'm still a great competitor. Uh, I'm still seven foot tall and can bang with Shaq. Is not uh, as complicated so that we can continue to attract the best and the brightest. If what Jason's doing, and I hope what he's doing, will open the door for many others, and um, I'm very proud of him. Jason Collins has immediately uh, made himself a role model to young lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people around the country who now see uh, an openly gay athlete at the highest level. He's not playing anymore. I, I think that uh, Major League Soccer actually has really laid a, a fertile ground for an active player to come out, even though it's not one of the big four, I think. Well, we've seen a sea change in the way Americans view issues of equality over the past decade or two, and it really has been because people have come out. You know, when you come out to your family or people at your workplace, uh, it starts to change hearts and minds. I've just w been wondering what the, the reaction around the league is going to be really um, and how other players are going to maybe treat them differently, hopefully not. I mean, granted, it is historic, but I, shouldn't, I don't think it should ma be made a, a huge deal since it's who he is, and uh, we should all accept that.